In this video, I'd like to talk about using standard road subgrades as they relate to machine control. First of all, let's look at what we consider a standard road subgrade. Um, let's take a look here at this, um, uh, at this drawing, and let me get a pointer open here. And basically what we have is a 2% road with a 6 to 1 slope that runs off it to the catch point. This is obviously a fill condition. Um, there's no shoulder and the road grade is 2% for the crown of the road and then runs to a 6 to 1 and you'll see that there's some paving and then some rock underneath. This is what we consider a standard road subgrade. Now let's talk about how we're going to take and figure out what to do with finding that subgrade location where it contacts that force slope. If we look here, we need to calculate the subgrade hinge. For a road that remains consistent throughout its travel, if there's just one typical section, you can utilize this as your only model. In other words, just model the finished road job, and here's how you calculate the subgrade hinge. Um, in our example, we basically have a, a two on four paving section, which is going to be right here, and then we have a foot of base, which happens underneath it. So we have um, uh, basically uh, 18 inches of material that is going to take us out to this subgrade hinge right here. If we use a 6 to 1 slope to calculate, all we've got to do is come over a constant 9 feet from the edge of pavement and we are going to get the horizontal location of the subgrade hinge. The vertical location is easily done by dialing down to the top of dirt grade and carrying this out. Let's talk about how we're going to, going to go about actually grading the subgrade on this job. Now what I've got in this slide is basically the representation of two grader blades. There's one here and then there's one over here to the right on the fore slope. So what I want to do is initially or after the fact we have to grade the subgrade to the edge of pavement. So we have to come vertically from the edge of pavement line and dial down the surface. Now you have to remember anytime you dial down a job you drop the whole thing that amount. So if we dial this thing down to subgrade what we basically have is a new surface that looks like this. So all we can do is grade the subgrade out to the edge of pavement. We go back to finish and then we grade this four slope until it comes to this point. The only thing that you've got to do and where you might have to do something manually is to come in and run your subgrade and project it out to catch this daylight, to catch this subgrade hinge. Now that can be done using a horizontal offset while you've got the dial down or you can do it sonically by running to this area here with sonic and then taking cross slope. We've only got nine feet here so you can do that with a greater pass but this will give you an idea of exactly how you can achieve that subgrade hinge without having to calculate it for a simple road subgrade.